Hey everybody, and welcome back to BK's Bullets. Today we're talking Why the Last Man, Volume 7. This is Paper Dolls. Hey everybody, and welcome back to BK's Bullets. As always, I am your host, Brent Casina, and today we're talking about Why the Last Man, Volume 7, Paper Dolls. This is part of book... Through four, I guess you would say. Yeah, book four of the newer trades. This is volume seven of the older ones. If you're into the compendiums, this was not out in compendium two yet, but um, this contains issues 37 through 42 of Why the Last Man. But before we get into the review, let me ask you to please do one thing. Please subscribe. Helps me out, helps the channel grow, lets you know when I drop new videos, all that good stuff. Smash that like button. So, Paper Dolls. Remember how I was praising Volume 6, the last episode, saying that uh, we finally got some answers? Well, we kind of stopped the answer train and went on sidetrack train. Uh, even though we had found out that, uh, you know, we, we found out why Yorick was still alive. It's all because of the monkey, and the monkey had gotten stolen, ampersand. Um, we're now tracking this monkey through a tracking device that uh, I guess Hero had given him the signal. Hero's no longer with the team and we'd been on the um, the short little boat ride with the pirates and heroin and now we've joined the, we've taken over the boat, the boat's gone and now we're in the submarine with the Australians and we end up in Sydney and um, we're pretty much looking for Beth, so we think, and then we're sidetracked because Yorick gets stumbled upon by a photographer who makes him take off his clothes and take a picture of himself fully butt naked for her tabloid rag um that's what they call it and then we get a little story in here about um hero meeting up with beth number two who turns out is now pregnant pregnant that's a fun little story and then we finally wrap up with what we think is going to be a island adventure off papua new guinea with our trio but actually is a flashback of 355 and kind of her origin and, and things like that. Um, so, and then we're kind of moving through 355's timeline with York and them because we see York with the beard from volume three. Uh, and then it just kind of like ends there. Uh, and then we also get, you know, kind of what's been going on with Ampersand and how he came to uh, embrace York. And all these things are kind of like leading, dropping hints, like especially the Ampersand one, they're dropping hints that. Um, Dr. Mann actually was trying to send Ampersand, uh, Dr. Mann's mother was trying to send Ampersand to Dr. Mann in Boston. And then somehow along the way, he got mixed up. And instead of being a medical monkey, he ended up getting mixed up with another capuchin, capuchin? Anyway, another monkey of the same species that was going to be helping people out. And that was what ended up with York. So, Originally, Ampersand was not supposed to be York's monkey. He was supposed to be Dr. Mann's test subject for some reason. So somebody was trying to send this monkey to Dr. Mann, and eventually, somehow, Dr. Mann found this monkey. Um, so I, I think it's an interesting trade. It's uh, an interesting collection of stories. What's nice about these, you know, um, you know, this is only four or five issues here. Maybe it's six. Um, but it's a it's a nice little collection of stories. Nothing is too long. It doesn't feel bloated because I think you've got, you know, three issues of the paper doll storyline that the book is titled, and then you got yeah, three more issues that are one shots that illustrate more character moments, more uh, world building moments. You know, we reconnect with Hero and the other Beth, and see what they're up to, and we're just kind of like, it's nice that Brian K. Vaughn is not forgetting about all the characters that readers and him as a writer I feel a connection to. So he gives the other characters breaks in terms of their story, like we're jumping ahead uh, from them being in the submarine to all the way in um, you know, Australia. There's an adventure in Papua New Guinea that we don't see anything of, and it's mentioned in another book later on, so there's no flashback there. So we're kind of like skipping along uh, and picking up certain moments. We're not seeing the entire journey, and I think that is kind of cool because uh, it does kind of take place in real time. There's a moment in, I think it's in this book, it's in a couple of the books where York says, you know, it's been two years or it's been three years, and that's kind of reflected in the amount of time that the book had been published, you know, as far as, like, what issue number it was on and things like that. So it's kind of neat to see this 
you know, adventure take place in time. We're not following it day by day by day, but rather significant events. Because I'm sure there were times where they did nothing all day and just sat on the submarine and there was no interesting talk there. Um, I think this is my favorite volume so far of 355 uh, and her storyline. Like her in York, in Australia, hunting down this photographer, this reporter. Uh, was really interesting and you really get to see I mean yet again but it's really reinforced this time with the 355 origin story in the back here just how much of a badass 355 is um, I remember her being my favorite character prior uh, in prior read-throughs but definitely I'm seeing here now like even if it's volume 7 it's kind of way in and run she's still one of my favorite you know my favorite character in the entire story I think so that is a whole lot of fun um, so I, I think it's fun. You know, we got a little bit of everything. We got Pia Guerra, we got Goran Saduka doing the art here. I think they're splitting it up pretty evenly. Uh, let's take a look, because I know I've mentioned it in other ones before. But it's nice, too, that, you know, I mentioned this in the Volume 6 review, but it's really just these two artists. It, mostly Pia Guerra and then uh, Goran Suzuka doing some other ones. So, okay, so this had me fooled, actually. So this says Pia Guerra and Goran Suzuka do... Um, part of Paper Dolls, it doesn't say which one, uh, issue to issue, but Gordon Suzuka does, like, Suzuka does every issue after the Paper Dolls storyline, so he does more than half this volume again. Again, I cannot tell. I could not tell, because I didn't, I didn't, I don't really look at who draws it until I'm doing the review, or right before then, and I, you could not tell me that this is Gordon Suzuka rather than Pia Guerra. And I think, honestly, all credit, again, every time I say this, goes to Jose Marzan Jr. for bringing it all together. So um, we kind of stopped the answer train, but we're getting closer. I know the next volume gives us a little bit more hints and clues as to what's going on, or just a little bit of breadcrumbs. But it was, you know, you left off the last volume thinking you were going straight to Japan to meet Dr. Man's mother, and you end up not doing that at all. So it is a little bit of a disappointment in that manner. So, um, Why the Last Man, Volume 7, Paper Dolls, that's my review. Let me know down below what you guys think of this volume, and we'll see you guys next time here in the Funny Pages.